Hi everyone, here's a Prangel from uh, 2014 3100 mile race. We have uh, two, uh, two days to the uh, start. So uh, today I prepare a video about uh, how to adjust uh, shoes uh, for, the, for this kind of race. Usually when you buy a shoes you just uh, try them in the, in the shop and you know if they are good for you or not. Uh, uh, when you are buying shoes for this kind of race uh, doesn't matter of what uh, if they are really uh, good for you now because in few days they will they will not fit you exactly because uh, your your feet will just uh, uh, get a little bit bigger or will change change uh, change the size so anyway you have to adjust them and the best thing is if you know already be, uh, like what how how your uh, feet will react or for this kind of uh, race. Uh, if you've done uh, the, the races, uh, this kind of races before, you, you, you already know how, how your, uh, how your uh, feed will, uh, will react. So I already know that um, usually I get a problem with the uh, big toe because somehow I'm, uh, my running style is uh, strange because I'm lifting the big toe and then it happened that uh, when it wrap, uh, for the, uh, wrap the, the, the upper side of the shoes I always get a blister there and also my, my, uh, my feet get a get little bit wider even this is the widest shoes I can buy this is like uh, uh, SX Nimbus uh, 15 size American 13 and uh, 4E wide this is the widest shoes uh, they they made uh, even after a few days they are, they're just not wide enough for me so I have to uh, adjust I have to cut the hole here for my uh, small toe because otherwise I get the blister uh, there anyway so uh, uh, when you are cutting the shoes the one uh, thing is essential and this is a uh, good good uh, scissors uh, usually when you buy regular scissors they are good for uh, uh, for uh, either uh, hard stuff like hard uh, paper or uh, some uh, 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 soft stuff as a, uh, as a regular thin paper. But uh, for for this, it's uh, this is like uh, very complicated for the sh for the uh, for the scissors because you have uh, uh, the hard stuff, hard uh, I don't know hard stuff of the of the shoes where you need, you need a very good, uh, very sharp. Uh, scissors and also the this this, this part of the shoes is uh, is uh, very very soft so you need also uh, uh, scissors f for that for me the, the best things I, I learned works is uh, uh, regular, regular uh, scissors for the for the gardening for um, small uh, uh, trees or, or, or um, uh, flowers or something like that they are very sharp and but also they can cut the the the, the, the soft part of the shoe and also also the hard part so you just uh, take the, the scissors and just make a hole and uh, cu cut the mark where, which you made already before so you know that what, what you want to actually cut so this is the easy part just cut them so can you ima you can imagine that this is uh, like hundred almost twenty dollar uh, shoe and you just destroy it and I have a, a 10 pair of them so it's like twelve hundred dollars and you just all of them you just, you just destroy like this even before you start to run all these shoes as I learned usually they last for me on this surface which is uh, concrete hard concrete they last for four or five days and they are over so this is the part you don't need and then for the small toe so it's it doesn't matter when you are buying the shoes you have to also know like uh, you have to have experience how much how long they can last because some some uh, uh, producers they make the shoe from the the bottom uh, bottom rubber is not it's soft so uh, it's good for for your heels and everything they they are very soft but usually they don't last that long uh, some of the shoes they you can just destroy especially when you are a heavier runner you can destroy them in, in, even in one day I think the record we have like 8 or 9 hours yeah there was one brand of shoes which and then especially model which lasts only for, for, for so many hours you just work, take them and in a few hours they are over just uh, the bottom of the shoe is, is, is over when the, the, you know this 
this uh, black rubber is is very hard but when you when you wear it off then it's uh, the soft one and it just it's not meant for 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 so it will not last it long so it will take only a few hours then to destroy the shoe completely and it's always uh, good if you can change them can change them as soon as possible because then uh, the shoe is not anymore meant for for your shoe for your for your feet and it it can cost you as a trouble with with some injury okay so this is the shoe how it looks after you adjust it you just try it and test it if it is all right for you or you can make it more okay sometimes uh, i have to cut also the you know this this part of the of the shoe because it's just uh, hurting the shin it's just rubbing the shin and sometimes uh, i cut the the back part of the of the shoe for the for the yeah for how do you call it yeah for the back part of the of the calf yeah, for the achilles so it it will not hurt them okay so this is how you destroy the 1200 uh, 12 120 dollar shoe but it's uh, really essential you don't have to look for the money because it your your feet are more important than the the shoe you can buy a new shoe but you will not buy a new uh, new feet and uh, anyway they have to they have to last much longer than the, these few days which the shoes will last okay that's for today uh, we will have uh, today a meeting uh, in the restaurant with, with all the runners and tomorrow we will have a pre-race uh, talk with the uh, with the race organizers and on a sunday six o'clock a.m we are starting 18 annual 3100 mile race that's for today and see you tomorrow.